How are you all doing tonight? My name is Big Bombed Boy, and welcome to a Hunter's Guide to Phase 1 Biss. First real Biss list in Wrath. Nice. Raids change a bit in Wrath. We now have 10 and 25 man versions of everything and different loot tables to go along with those. Most items will be from 25 man raids, which makes sense. But I know some of you wonderful people play Hunter as an alt or just play casually. So I will cover the full Biss list first. Then later, I will mention a Biss list restricted to 10 man loot. I'm not going to cover enchants again as they're literally the same as Prebis, but as always, slot by slot, tip to butt. Helm. Our Biss Helm is blue aspect helm. There really is no play here. This is Biss Helm. It's from Malagos 25. Even though it has haste, it's eye level 226, and then stat budget just puts it way over anything else. Second and third place would go to our 25 man tier helm. It's also pretty good actually. And Hylene Helm of the Sniper from Sartharian 25. But you'd have to play around with your hit since this helm has hit and the other ones don't. Necklace. Necklace is tough but inevitable because it's favor of the Dragon Queen, which is like the Nef Head or Heart of Hakar, but from Malagos 25 man heroic. So it's inevitable that everyone will get it eventually, but a lot of people want the heart, so it could take some time. The good news is Gem of Imprisoned Vassals from Kel'Thuzad 10 and Icy Blast Amulet from Saffron 25 are both only very, very slightly behind Favor of the Dragon Queen, even with that socket. I would personally just try and get one of those early on. Shoulders. Our best shoulders are tier. Yeah, the 25 man tier shoulders are actually really good. Other options, they're all noticeably far behind, actually, to the point that the second best option would be the 10 man tier shoulders. Kind of surprising, but yeah. There are some other ones that are not bad, but the 10 man ones are so easy to get anyway. You may as well just go for those. Cape, Drape of the Deadly Foe, not quite into dope shit territory yet, but this cape is Biss, dropping from Kel'Thuzad 25. Second best is actually going to be our Emblem of Valor Cloak, Hammerhead Sharkskin Cloak. This has a pretty solid use of your badges. There's also Cloak of Mastery from Saffron 10. If you need a little bit of hit, you can use this, but it would be an interim piece of gear, and it is behind the other two cloaks. Chest. Chest Guard of Flagrant Prowess. Damn, this is good. No garbage haste on this chest. Two sockets. Nice. Dropping from Sartharian 10, but you need at least two drakes up for this to drop. It's from the bonus loot. But I'd say it's more likely most people will get the second best chest, which is, you guessed it, 25 man tier chest. There's also Tunic of Masked suffering from Noth, the Plaguebringer 25. This is not better than tier, but it is better than the Argent chest from Prebis if you're still using that. Racers. Bracers are Slime Stream Bracers. That's a cool name. These are from Grabby List 25 and they are unbeatable. The other two options would be Arm Guard of the Tower Archer from Emblems of Valor, and yes, they actually are BOE, or in third place, Arachnoid Gold Band from Anobricon 25. Gloves. Gloves are disappointing. I'm very saddened by what takes place here. Our tier gloves are not that good. You can skip them. The best option is unfortunately leather. Frosted adroit handguards. These are from Malagos 25. They have no int, but the stats on these are really 
really good, and there's just nothing out there that can beat them. My recommendation for second place would be Gloves of Calculated Risk from Patchwork 25, or Rusted Link Spiked Gauntlets from Fairlina 10, or third, because of the hit. But even they aren't that great. Frosted has so much hit that we could really use. Any other piece of gear here will require you to move around a lot of hit from other gear or gems. Which for interim pieces of gear would be fine, but if we're looking at this, it's not fine. Belt. Finally, we get a simple slot. Depraved linked belt from Grobulus 25 or torn web wrapping from Makesna 25. Depraved is the no-hit option and the ideal choice for actual bis. And then Torn Web is there if you need hit, like if you can't get those frosted gloves. Other than those, just use your badge belt or the belt from your mirror until you can upgrade. Pants. We've actually got quite a few options for pants. My recommendation is the tier pants. Just like in pre-bis, that set bonus is not bad. It may seem small, but so are the differences between most gear of the same item level. We'd like to keep that two-piece bonus. Pants and shoulders are generally the way to do that. Tear Helm is beat by Blue Aspect. Chest is beat by Flagrant Prowess. Gloves are stomped by Frosted. The tear pants are... Uh, okay, they're actually behind these pants, too. Leggings of Failed Escape from Gothic the Harvester 25. These are better than tear pants, but remember, we want that set bonus. If you can't get flagrant prowess chest, you can use failed escape pants and tear chest. If you can't get frosted gloves, you can use tear gloves and failed escape pants. But all of those are a loss compared to tear pants and frosted gloves and flagrant chest, but it's not a massive one. So keep that in mind. Boots. Boots are pretty clear cut, which is good because I hate when shit is not cut clearly. Boots of the Renewed Flight from Mali 25 are the best. Boots of the Great Construct from Saffron 25 and Crippled Treads from Noth 25 are both slightly behind while being almost identical to each other, so you can grab one of those in the meantime. Rings. Rings are also pretty simple. You'd think with three raids, each with two versions, loot would get complicated, but yeah. So our two bis rings are Surge Needle Ring from Maligos 10 and Strong Handed Ring from Resuvius 25. Not a lot of play there. They're both really good. And yeah, Surge Needle Ring is a BOE for some reason. While not Biss, there are a few other decent rings, like the Badge Ring, Ring of Invincibility, I actually can't see it, and Sealing Ring of Grobulus. They are both good and almost the same DPS. If they drop, they are much better than your pre-Biss options at least, but ultimately we want Strong Hand and Surge. And a quick note for pre-Biss. Sijnit Ring of Edward the Odd is actually really good for pre -bis. It does not beat out the raid options, it's not P1-Bis, but this sim's noticeably higher than Titanium Impact Band while being a lot cheaper right now. I bought one to test it out, and the 45 second cooldown on the proc seems accurate, it's actually pretty nice. I completely missed this in the pre-raid video because for some reason, I think it's Atlas Loot, shows it only dropping from old war trash so that is fucked my bad trinket trinkets are probably the shittiest of all slots which is a shame because normally i look forward to getting new trinkets dark moon card greatness it's the best it's it just is i know that sucks it's a fuck ton of gold I made a bunch of cards on my DK. I made my DK inscription specifically to make getting cards easier. I didn't get a single nobles. Yeah, I lost a ton of gold on that. It's fucked. I'm really disappointed. But it is what it is. Greatness is bis. Second slot is where it gets really, really weird though. It's still mirror of truth. Yeah, for real. Trinkets are the same as pre-raid. None of the trinkets are really that good for Hunter. Grim Toll seems good, Arpen is cool, but it's not enough to beat out Mirror, 
and you would have to move an absolute ass load of hit around if you had Grim Toll. Bandit's Insignia, it's not massively far behind Mirror, but it is behind. Same thing with Fury of Five Flights, just slightly behind Mirror. Both Ebb's Shadow though, okay, this is probably the best raid trinket out there for hunters. It's about the same DPS as Mirror, but it isn't on use trinket, so it's good to have that to stack with other buffs or when you really need it, like a burst phase. Dark Moon is the best. Mirror and Lotheb are about equal. Use whatever combination of those three that works for you. Now just for some perspective here, Mirror and Lotheb in full P1 bis, I get to sim around 80 DPS lower than Mirror and Greatness which is noticeable, but not like an earth-shattering difference. Alright, weapon. We got a few options once again. Journey's End from Kel'Thuzad 25. And Betrayer of Humanity, also from Kel'Thuzad 25. These are virtually identical in terms of the DPS they provide. You are more likely to end up on Journey's End, but most DKs will be dual-wielding, if you don't have a lot of rets and arms in your raid, you may end up getting Betrayer. Doesn't matter which one of these, just grab one of the two. Crypt Fiend's Bite from Hygen25 is also good, but it's noticeably behind Journey and Betrayer. Black Ice is dope shit because it looks so good. And it actually is good. The problem is it just has a ton of hit and we don't really want to swap a ton of hit all at once if we don't have to but for an interim piece of gear this is very good and if you do need to hit for an interim piece of gear it'll be quite a bit better than crypt fiend's bite ranged i know i always put ranged last i make you wait but it's worth it our bis ranged is envoy of mortality from kelthazad 25 which is pretty easy to see. It's the highest eye level ranged weapon. It's the highest DPS ranged weapon. It's the best ranged weapon. Kind of makes sense. From there, it gets a little more interesting because we have three options that are all close to being tied for second place. Final Voyage from Four Horsemen 25, Arrow Song from Patchwork 25, and Nerubian Conqueror from Kel'Thuzad 10. Nerubian actually is the best, but only very slightly. And remember, our new scope is super cheap, so it's not a big deal at all to swap ranged weapons anymore. But damn, it is cool to see some guns again. Alright, let's take a look at the actual bis list in full. Here's what it looks like. Nice. And honestly, in this case, a realistic bis list just isn't that necessary. None of these items are incredibly hard to obtain to the point that you would never get it, other than potentially the Dark Moon card, but that'll get cheaper over time, or maybe the necklace, but again, that's an inevitability. You'll get it as long as you keep running it. If I do take out the hardest to get items, we end up with something like this, which is easier to obtain, but again, not particularly necessary. And this is about a 1.4% loss compared to actual BIS. So even it's not a big deal. And let's take a look at 10 man BIS. So as I mentioned earlier, I know a lot of people just aren't interested in 25 mans and only run 10 either with an alt or just have a group of nine friends. What the fuck is a friend that they like to run with? So I put together a quick BIS list restricted to only 10 man gear, and it's actually quite a bit different. You are pretty heavily weighted towards hit with this because a lot of the higher item level pieces that you can get from only 10 man have hit, which means you're going to take points out of focused aim. You can also swap the gloves for the tier gloves if you find yourself sitting in Viper a lot because of your raid comp or lack of mana management. You probably won't need to do that, but that option is there for this 10-man set. And where to badge? People often ask where to use your badges, especially since these are raid-specific badges now. 
Well, none of the badge pieces are best, unless you're restricted to 10 man raids. So my recommendation is just buy whichever piece is the biggest upgrade for you at the time. In my situation right now, I've got shit bracers. The ones in Nexus literally won't drop. I have ran it every single day. It's the only piece of gear I still need from Heroics. So I would buy the bracers. Badge purchases as a hunter are pretty simple, to be honest. And that is P1 Biss. Damn, there was some dope shit in that list. I'm very happy. We got boomsticks back. I'm really tired of bows and crossbows. What piece of gear are you happy showed up on this? Let me know in them comments. I really do want to throw up some streams, but I have been dying from sinus problems lately. It's starting to get cold out. Hopefully I can do some streams real soon. If you enjoyed the video, hit that sub button, bell, like button. I want black ice just for the looks button, share button, all that other shit. I appreciate each and every one I get. This channel even has memberships now. You can check them out by clicking the join button or by the sub button. I stream right here on YouTube. I hope you'll join me. But that is going to be all for this one. I really appreciate you all watching and I will see you all for the next one.